Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the review of the Be Quiet Dark Rock 5. It's a brand new single tower air cooler from Be Quiet. Let's get into it. Okay then, so this is the Dark Rock 5. Big thank you to Be Quiet. This is their latest CPU cooler. This is basically a downsized version of the Pro. Now, let's have a look at inside the box. So first of all, you do get the fan, which this is one of their very good quality new Be Quiet fans. Very good quality. In terms of the accessory box, now of course you're going to come with all the clips. It's going to come with extra fan clips. Of course it's going to come with a manual as well. Also, it's going to come with this as well, the installation guide. This will tell you how to install it on LGA and AM5 and AM4. And of course, then it comes with all the brackets. Now, of course, it does come with thermal paste as well. But of course, it comes with all the back plates you need for like Intel and stuff. So that is the accessories. Of course, in terms of the cooler, Be Quiet is actually quite well known for including screwdrivers. I have got plenty of these here. Very good, long-headed Phillips screwdriver. And they're very good for getting into very tight spaces. So foam. And then, of course, we get to the cooler itself. Now, like I said, this is a downsized version of the Pro 5. Of course, it does have the mounting bracket already attached, which obviously I'm all for because the original Dark Rock Pro 4, it didn't. You had to install this separately, which I found really difficult, especially if you are a new builder or something like that. Now, of course, this does come with the overall new branding scheme from be quiet and this does come off as you can see a big magnet in the middle but best thing probably about this is if your case was inverted you could easily do this like that and go done it would actually look very sleek now in terms of the heat pipes of course it has got six heat pipes which are rather large as you can see and obviously they are bent into a different angle so it gives you good ram clearance now, as for reviewing this, it will be be putting up with be uh, be putting up against the likes of single tower coolers from Thermorite. I will be including them in the video this time, first time ever, so you guys will get a rough idea of how this performs against the likes of the Burst Assassin, the Assassin King, and I might even put in the the PLS Assassin. So make sure you continue to watch because benchmarks and that will follow after this. This is the Dark Rock 5 brand new CPU cooler from Be Quiet. This is a 50% fan speed. Barely hear it. This is 100% fan speed. Even at 2,000 RPM, it's still quiet. Okay then, so I've done two different types of tests. I've done it with the 5900X standard and with PBO enabled, so it draws more power. Now, I will be putting some other single tower CPU coolers in a graph for you after these I've done for you guys, so you can get a general idea of where it stacks up against other uh, single towers like the arctic freezer 36 you know went some thermal right and stuff like that so for the overall testing it's my same test methods cinebench blender as well as 3d mark cpu test now for the standard version that's just 5900x out of the box settings cinebench are 23 the idles are 35 celsius with a max of 70 blender classroom idles are 35 with a max of 69 Blender Pavilion, the idles are 35 Celsius with a max of 69. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 35 Celsius with a max of 71 Celsius. Okay, so for the 5900X with PBO enabled, the CPU on the first run was drawn 142 watts. This run, it was 180. So for Cinebench R23, the idles are 34 Celsius. I'm assuming the the overall uh, idles were a little bit lower due to the fact with PBO, the voltage doesn't spike as much at idle. So 34 Celsius with a max of 80. Blender Classroom, the idle 34 Celsius with a max of 77. 
Blender Pavilion, the idles with 34 Celsius with a max of 78 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idle with 34 Celsius with a max of 72 Celsius. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a graph up here showing you guys the overall uh, test methods when it comes to overall thermals against the lights of the Arctic Freezer 36. Some air coolers from Thermalrite as well. Now I am going to show you the PBO set in one so you guys can know which cooler is the best for the better wattage. Now of course they will be up here for you to have a look at so make sure you just continue to watch this part so you can see which cooler you would prefer. Right so you've seen the overall unboxing you've also seen the overall specifications you've also seen the thermals. Now yes I've added other coolers to the thermals. Now I will be adding more as more coolers I get I will start adding more and then eventually and I will do a full roundup so you guys can actually pick which one you'd rather. So for the Dark Rock 5 which has literally just come out what I'd say is it gets Welsh Tech stamp of approval for the aesthetics as well as the performance and silence and then of course obviously it's be quiet they're known to be quiet and overall it's a good cooler now of course whether you want to buy this cooler that is completely up to you but i will leave a link down below to amazon as well as scan just in case you guys want to browse at what it actually costs which i will put up right by here to make sure you guys actually know the price now i have got loads of stuff coming i have got an asrock motherboard that will be here tomorrow i have got two products coming from apacer my first ever gen drive gen 5 drive i've got a motherboard from asrock which is matx my first ever small form factor build so make sure you subscribe because welsh tech has got loads of stuff coming and i'd like to say a big thank you to be quiet it gets my stamp of approval if you guys decide to buy it, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to tell you to buy it or not, but it gets my stamp of approval and it's a good cooler for the price. So make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave a like. Don't forget to comment as well. And please, any suggestions for future content on the channel, please let me know. All you got to do is comment down below and I will always take any suggestions, any ideas to improve things. And this is Richard from Wildstruck. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good. Bye.